Hi, I'm Benedetta from Local Aromas in Italy and I'm here with my sister Valeria. If I were to tell you that the main ingredients of the dish we are about to have are guanciale, pecorino, egg yolks and black pepper, would you have a guess? If you guess or if you don't, doesn't matter. Follow us because we are going to have to mouth drooling. Andiamo. One of the four Roman pastas. The other ones are Grisha, Cacio e Pepe, and Amatriciana. Very simple in the ingredients it uses, but just amazing. It's the quality of the ingredients that make the difference. So, first and most important, guanciale. Not bacon, it has to be guanciale. It is the pork jowl. It's this part of the pork. Pancetta comes from the pork belly, pancia. And so to make each, any of the Roman pasta you want this because it's fat, meat and fat, and it's cut in stripes and then it's put in a pan and it gets crunchy. The fat melts, becomes translucent and it is just, to, it's just, oh, to die for. <laughs> it, is, it is. Then, and I can't pick it up here, pecorino cheese. Now this is pecorino romano dop. Pecorino is the typical Roman cheese, it has to be dop because the sheep uh, are from Lazio, from uh, this region or the island of Sardinia. So it has to, and it's it's, it's got, very salty. It's and it's delicious. It's it's different. And then eggs. So the egg yolks are are beaten with the pecorino cheese in a bowl. You cook the pasta. You drain the pasta al dente. And then, once the pasta is drained, you toss it in this in, in the pan with um, in the in the pot with the egg yolk because if you leave it on the fire, you're going to get scrambled. Right. So the last part, the last procedure of making a carbonara, is away from fire. And unlike its sisters, carbonara is a more recent. Uh, it's a more recent Roman dish. It, there is this one cookbook which is very, very important about Italian cuisine and it dates back to the 1930s and which is called Talismano della Felicità. It's the one that we use when we do our mm. Foodie Sisters in the Kitchen videos. That, that's like the Bible. Yes, and imagine in that recipe book there is no mention about carbonara. So we know it is a dish that originated in the second half of the 1990s. We're very, very happy that it originated. That it has originated. become in such a short time, though. It has become such an important part of our of our local tradition. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then you we just are ready to eat. I mean, just look at this beauty. And I must say one thing, as a Roman, please, no cream, no butter. You do not add any of these things in carbonara. It's got guanciale, pecorino, pepper, and egg yolk. Basta. And I will add something else, a good glass of local red wine. Do you agree? Always. I always agree with wine. <laughs> Come on, eat it before it gets cold. So carbonara is one of the four Roman pastas that you have to have when you come to Rome. Not only carbonara, but also amatriciana, cacio e pepe, and gricia. These are musts. You must not leave Rome without having had at least all four of them. <laughs>